Hi everybody, I'm Tim Anderson. I'm a chef and the author of various Japanese cookbooks, including Japanese and Your Home Yuzakaya. And today I want to talk about miso, in particular the delicious premium miso from the Wasabi Company. Uh, before I get into the specifics, I want to cover sort of the basics of miso. You're probably already aware that it is a fermented soybean product, and it falls generally into two categories, white and red miso which has to do with their age primarily. White miso is younger, fresher, a bit sweeter, it's got a lighter flavor. Red miso, on the other hand, is aged for longer, um, and that gives it a, a much richer, fuller, sort of more umami, savory flavor. Um, both delicious, both have lots of applications. Uh, white miso, by the way, can also be made with rice usually, and red miso is often made with barley, which changes their flavor. Uh, and then you also get uh, things like this one, which is an awase miso, also a barley miso, a mixed miso. Uh, and that sort of sits in between the white and red. And, and awase miso is actually the kind that I would recommend having on hand uh, for general purpose cooking. But every kind of miso has its own applications, its own distinct flavors, its own benefits. So I will get into some specifics. We've got two... Uh, producers here, we've got Tsuru from Fukuoka, and we've got Kantoya from Kyoto. Uh, now they do a wide range of styles from a traditional white miso, this is called an Inaka miso, which is like a country style miso, another white one, a red one, a mixed barley one, um, and this one is a, a chunky rice miso, kind of similar to the Inaka miso. But I'm going to focus on two today, and I want to talk about how to use them in your cooking. Uh, because they're really, really special. The first one I want to talk about is something unusual. It's not like a traditional pure miso. It's actually a yuzu miso. And this is, like I said, not just miso, but actually miso mixed with yuzu, uh, the greatest citrus fruit of all time, uh, plus some sugar, sweeteners, sake, mirin, things like that to round out the flavor. So it's actually something you can use straight out of the bag or the pouch uh, to season all kinds of things just on its own. It's a really well-rounded, balanced flavor. Now, whenever you have a new miso or any kind of new seasoning, you need to try it just on its own first, get to understand it. A little bit of miso goes a long way. Don't take a huge spoonful. But this is really good. This is mellow and sweet, really sweet. Um, it's got this great sort of yuzu aroma. It's actually quite sticky from the sugar in it. Um, it actually reminds me of lemon curd. It's it's really, really smooth and citrusy. Um, and this would be fantastic, obviously, on fish or shellfish. But also, you could um, balance it out with a little bit of vinegar or actual yuzu juice or just lemon juice. Uh, it'd be fantastic on vegetables, chicken, all kinds of things. A little bit of sesame oil in here, too, along with some vinegar, would make a perfect salad dressing. <clears throat> the other one I want to talk about... The other miso I want to talk about is this Akadashi miso, long age miso from Tsuru. Uh, and you can tell by the color, it's very dark, <laughs> uh, very, very aged. And the color will tell you a lot about the flavor, which is really rich, very salty, very delicious. In the sort of ballpark flavor wise of Vegemite, Marmite, Bovril, really, really, really savory, almost beefy. Um, it's also got this like kind of fruitiness that's like a Kalamata olive fruitiness, a little bit of balsamic vinegar flavor there. So as you might imagine, uh, this is going to be good with stronger flavored ingredients. For me, this would be perfect um, with lamb chops or uh, even like a braised beef, like you put this in a beef stew or a chili, something like that and it would be fantastic. But you could also try it in a salted caramel sauce. It's um, not just for savory food, uh, and that goes for the yuzu miso and every kind of miso as well, but in a toffee sauce or caramel sauce, it would be fantastic. So if a recipe, a sweet recipe calls for salt, try um, a miso instead, and especially if it's something chocolatey or caramelly or rich, definitely go for a really dark brown aged miso like this. But there's a whole world of miso to explore, so, Try them all. Find your favorite. That's what I always do.